how can you prove that you can afford your trip? Now, the first um, circumstance to talk about is as basically when you're applying for the U.S. Um, visa. I would also talk about others, but the reason why I'm raising that of the U.S. visa is because the U.S. visa probably would not ask you if you're attending um, your interview, you would not need to pres you may not need to present your any document at all. You know, like they don't have time to be reviewing all that documents. Go with your documents. Now, is the information that you provide when completing your visa application form online that actually, um, you know, gives them the information that they need to assess whether you are stable or not now ask you and um, where you have where you currently work and where you worked um in the past now that you know in their opinion is what they use to assess if okay this person are they stable enough what do they do have they are they able to afford um the trip so you would not need to present a bank account so or people who think that maybe they can go cook up a massive bank or maybe tell people to pay money into their bank account so that it will show that they can afford a trip you will not win with the u.s um interview visa interview because particularly the, the tour i'm focusing on tourism because you would not need to present any of those documents. It is the information that you provide in your form, places you have traveled to in the past, and also what you do for a living, and also the fact that, okay, do you have dependent? Uh, do, that's what you'll be assessed on. So it's basically your form that, um, you know, you know, tells everything about you till you show up for the interview. Now, when you show up for the interview, the interviewing officer can ask you any question that they think, you know, they want to, um, they need answers. Like if you say you have worked, um, let's say they, there was an a gray area in your application form and then they want to know, okay, so how much do you earn in a month? They would ask you that question right there at the visa um, interview. For other countries, you must show that you have a sustainable income and your income should have a source i always find people just make people deposit huge money to their bank account you know just to show that oh the balance shows enough money that's not what a natural person would do so why do you think that they would be silly enough to believe you you might say oh hey mr a did it got away with it for you mr and mrs b <laughs> <laughs> you may be unlucky. Maybe the person who says Mrs. A was in a good mood, but Mrs. B, that is not the right thing to do. If you want to show that you can afford a trip, then you need to build your financial record over time. If your life, if the money that you earn um, monthly or periodically, you can do that effortlessly. You know, you just you earn good money that once you hit your account, you come on, you can take care of whatever questions they may have. That is fine. But when I started traveling, I wasn't earning a lot of money. And because of that, I had to be building my travel history over a period of time just to show that I could afford um afford my trip now what that meant was that within that time i was spending a lot less just so i would have my money sitting in my account for a long time now if i needed three months bank statement i just want to make sure that you know from six months i'm not you know touching the money in that like i'm not i don't have huge spend i had to do more i had to maybe channel all the sources of my income to my um, bank account and most times when i present my bank statement and then i have um deposit huge deposits that are made um to my account i always highlight it and then include a cover letter the, you know explaining the source of that income because let's say for example on the regular i have i, I used to have maybe like ten dollars you know coming into my account ten 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 dollars and all of a sudden i have hundred dollars you know people are like okay what's this hundred dollars for i highlight the hundred dollars and then in my cover letter i indicate okay you can see i received hundred dollars from rental income from xyz now that's how you fix it you build your travel record over time you know just to show that yes, you can afford, you know, this trip. Go for the account that has the most money. Go for the account that gets the most traffic. Just to show that yes, you can approve, um, you can afford this trip. There's no need going to get people to get your fake account or maybe going to um, 
tell people to pay huge money even if you're going to tell someone to pay huge money into your account let the money be sitting there prior prior to the time that you need to obtain that visa let it be that at the beginning of the time you're printing your bank statement the huge funds was already sitting out there now good luck finding who is going to give you <laughs> a huge sum of money to sit in your account for <laughs> three to six months if you have people who have uh, family members who have idle funds and then they can do that for you now that's fine if you're going to have huge money going there let it go before you know the start date of your um uh, you know the state uh, bank statement that you're uh, printing so at least it shows that okay it won't show that the money came in at that time it will show that it came in before you printed that so it shows that okay this person has had savings their savings and the money has been sitting in there for a long time now you know because it's difficult for someone to give you a huge amount of money um to be sitting in your account for so long then it is easy for whoever is assessing you to believe that yes this money is really yours and it's available to you it's savings that you have made over the years from whatever source of income that you have and also that is available to you for the trip now the reason why i'm spending time talking about um Proving um, your financial um, capabilities is because it is very important when applying, you know, for a visa. Because if you are not able to fend for yourself at home, how are you now able to pay for a trip abroad? It's just common sense. So you want to get it right, you know, so you won't have any problems. Thank you very much for joining me and have a good day. Bye -bye.